um, so it says that Alice has n balloons and arranged on a row. Now, what these n balloons will do? So we have zero index string called as colors. So for every of those balloons, we have a color, which we know that color is represented by the character. Okay, if it's a A, it's one color balloon. If it's a B, it's other color balloon. If it's a A, it's a same color balloon. So here, let's say A was represented by the blue balloon. B was represented by the red balloon. C was represented by a green balloon. So just representing different color of balloons. Now, Alice wants the rope to be colorful. She just wants the entire rope. So in the rope, we have attached these balloons and she wants the rope to be colorful. But she wants that with one condition that she does not want two consecutive balloons to be of the same color. So in the rope, two consecutive balloons. As you can see here, the two consecutive balloons are of the same color. So she does not want that. Now, uh, let's say if she if she's not if she's not wanting that. So what she will do is she asks Bob for the help. Now Bob can remove some balloons from the rope to make it colorful. So as you can see, uh, Alice wanted that no two consecutive balloons should be of same color. So for sure, Bob will remove one of the balloons or basic basically like any of the balloons or basically all of the balloons from this rope to make it colorful and it's obvious that uh, he will remove just one of the balloons uh, just one of the balloons any one of them just to make it colorful because ultimately it will just get him like this and it is just one balloon and here it's a different color here it's a, it's a different color so for sure it's a good strategy with uh, it's a good thing which alice wanted now we are also given a zero index array called as needed time where the needed time is the time in second the bob needs to remove the eye balloon so we have also given this time array so this indicates that if i have to remove this balloon from this rope then i need three seconds i need four seconds and so on and so forth so ultimately after the minimum time bob needs to make the rope colorful rope colorful which means no two consecutive balloons should have same color so for sure the consecutive colors i will just remove i will just remove the balloons which are having the same consecutive colors so here in this case i saw i had two consecutive colors i removed one of the balloons from here uh, and ultimately if i remove balloon so i'll encounter some cost the cost will be the time needed here i wanted the minimum time so i'll just choose the one having the minimum time for sure see uh, it is as simple as that a simple arithmetic that if I have some balloons consecutive, some consecutive balloons. So I know that I have to remove some balloons and ultimately my time should be as near as possible. So individually, the balloons which I remove should also have the time as minimum as possible. So it's the reason I'll just remove the minimum time balloon so as to get, okay, the non-consecutive same color balloons. So let me ultimately my time is three. Again, the same question. Uh, we have consecutive balloons of the same color. We will just remove again. We want minimum time. So I'll just remove the balloon with the having the minimum time. Balloon having the minimum time. And that's the answer. Last example, just so that you understand it pretty more clearly. You saw we have consecutive balloons, we have consecutive balloons, we have consecutive balloons, and ultimately uh, Alice wanted that the balloons. The consecutive balloon should not be of the same color. So for sure, here it is not like that. Okay, I can only remove this balloon. Still, you will see that I will have two consecutive balloons of the same color. It is also that okay. Let's say I remove this balloon. Still, I have two consecutive same color balloon. If I let's say this remove this balloon, then I will have two consecutive different color balloons. So you see that if I have let's say four consecutive balloons, so for sure I will have to remove three of them entirely from this entire thing, so as to get okay. The consecutive different color balloon so i know that from here in this first portion i'll remove three balloons uh, from the second portion i will have to remove two balloons from the last portion i will have to remove one balloon so as to make when so because if i will remove three balloons so the next balloon it will be red next balloon it will be blue and thus they will be of different colors so now again the same thing that i will just try to remove the ones having the minimum time so i'll just remove this remove this and remove this so we Basically, minimum time in this entire section in this consecutive color same color section i will just grab what which is having the minimum time and i will remove all of them and i'll i can simply add that in my answer and the same goes for this okay uh, having the minimum time having the minimum time i'll just simply add them and same goes for this having the minimum time i'll simply add that 
now uh, you saw that the answer will be the sum of these values plus this values plus this value i can also write the same thing as i can also write exactly the same thing i can also write as um let's let's move back we erased a value so i can also write the same thing exact same thing as saying that okay you just you just kept what you just kept only sorry basically you just kept only the maximum time balloon right we just kept the only the balloon which is having the maximum time in all these consecutive balloons you just kept only the balloon having the maximum time thus i can also say the same thing that okay you can just grab the sum of this entire thing and subtract this number so ultimately you will get this as the remaining number what i mean by that is if i just grab the sum of this entire thing it will be 1 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 and if i subtract this as only one only one maximum number that is i just only would want okay just 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 have this maximum number uh, so i can just only subtract a 4 and thus i can simply get this value but bhaiya uh, why we need to do this way so this is just the optimal approach to get the sum of the remaining portion of the remaining portion else the other of the other less optimal approach would have been you go on to this entire thing and then you just okay i just went on to this first number and then when i went on to the next number here in the beginning i would not know at all that who's the maximum number until unless i completely go up till here i would not know which was the maximum number right so i would not be able to say okay uh, take so what, what i could have done was i could have grabbed this entire thing one four two one in the entire array and then i would have sorted it down and then i would have <clears throat> grabbed the uh and then i, I would have grabbed the uh max oh like i would have got the minimum n minus one elements that is one way which how we would have approached it now other ways okay rather than sorting what i could have done is i know that i just have to grab the maximum element so i'll just do a one pass i'll grab okay what's the maximum element maximum element is four right in this entire thing uh, and also the numbers can be repeating so i'll just say maximum elements index index let's say id i'll just mention okay maximum index corresponding id it's let's say one so i will just skip this element and then i will just do again a pass on this entire array which is one four two one and then i'll get the sum excluding this index so i'll get the sum as one two one you see that okay it is o of n time but still i firstly grab the maximum element and then i grab the remaining sum so that's a two pass which is o of n plus n again that is again the interview will ask you optimize it so how will you optimize it you know that the same strategy which we have used earlier in the yesterday problems also that uh simply we want to remove the maximum element right that is what we wanted ultimately the sum will be the remaining elements so what i can do is i can simply grab the entire sum and i can also keep tracking the maximum element meanwhile i'm going in from left to right so uh, i'll just say okay sum plus is equals to one maximum element is equals to one sum now sum plus equal to four maximum element is four sum plus is equals to two maximum element maximum element will not update because 4 is more than 2, sum plus equal to 1, maximum element is still a 4. Ultimately, when this entire thing is done, you will have the sum as 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sum you will have as entirely as 8, maximum element as 4. So you know that your value will be nothing but sum minus this specific max value, which is nothing but 8 minus 4, and that's your 4, that will be your answer itself. So it's the same thing that to do, basically, like your brute force would have been n log n, and then it would have been again O of n plus n to pass, and then ultimately it is one pass so that is the reason we just use again um, we use the same concept previously on all the last videos also so i just wanted that okay for every consecutive same color thing i'll just grab the sum and also i'll keep on grabbing the maximum value again consecutive colors i'll grab the sum and i'll grab the maximum value again i'll just keep on doing it calculating it as i'm progressing again sum again maximum value and then i can simply get the answer ultimately i will just get the minimum time the board required to actually make the row colorful the code is pretty simple as i also showed you earlier also that i'll just go on and as soon as my color changes then i would impact it but as you can simply see if i just parallel dry run also so in the beginning my eye will start from here and so basically like although my eye starts from here itself but then i'll just simply add keep on adding i'll just have this condition of check with the previous color if the color is different then only i do this operation 
what's the operation we will see uh, but meanwhile we can just simply add in our sum so my sum will become a one my maximum element will become a one okay so my sum i have added in the sum cost my maximum cost it is my maximum number okay cool again it will go on to the next index again it will go on to the next index again uh, it is these colors are not like these colors are the same i will do this operation only when the colors are different two consecutive color, two two consecutive colors are different I'll tell you why that is happening. So here I'll just add my one. It will become a five. Maximum element will become a four. Again, it will go on next. Again, I'll just simply add a two. It will become a seven. It will be again a four. I'll just go here. Now it will become a eight. It will still be a four. Now it will go here. Now you will see that it if it comes here. Now it it tells him okay. The previous thing which you have figured out was the consecutive elements of the same color. Now a different color is gonna start. So whatsoever value you have grabbed so far, just in your answer you have to add a 8 minus 4 right as i saw that i added a 8 minus 4 in my answer for this left part so this indication of different colors says now my now my new color is about to start so please add a new thing just so please add the previous thing which you have computed which is 8 minus 4 so in my answer i'll simply add a 8 minus 4 which is some minus maximum element so as you can see i added my answer the sum minus maximum cost and then i know that his entire portion is done my new portion is about to start so please reset these values so i reset these values now again it it, it will be starting from this i so it will just say sum is three maximum number is three it will go on to the next element sum was three it will add it will be 11 maximum element is again a eight it will go on to next element like, like the next element it will be 13 it will be again a eight now again it will go on to next element now it will go and check okay my previous color is completed so now <clears throat> You can simply add 13 minus 8 in your answer and then you can simply again also reset this. <clears throat> now again uh, i'll just simply have a three added uh, maximum number is three i'll have a one added maximum number is still a three now ultimately in the very end when the entire loop is done in the very end in the, in the entire loop is done you saw that the last portion was not at all added in your answer so please simply add that last portion in your answer after the dc after the entire loop is done you added the last portion in your answer because the answer because in the last portion it was not added so i just simply added a four minus three and thus it is my ultimate answer and then i can simply return my answer and that's how you can simply solve it in o of n time and this o of n is just one pass i showed you a two pass way also which in the interview you can discuss but uh, in this easy problem don't go into too much discussion else you will take a lot of time and interview you don't have much time to actually like spare on these problems cool thank you for watching bye bye